Detroit Electric has ridden a rocky road since the brand was revived in 2008. Things went quiet for a while after 2009, until Detroit Electric resurfaced in 2013 with a Lotus-based F called the SP-01. Since then, production has been delayed, and delayed again, then moved to Holland before proof of its progress arrived in the form of photos of the SP-01 undergoing testing in 2014. Finally, late last year saw the first production car roll off the line in England of all places. Now, in spite of significant, yet not unreasonable, skepticism, Detroit Electric has delivered its first SP-01 to Jowett Motors in China. As its first customer, Jowett Motors chairman Dr. Richard Lee will use the white SP-01 as a demonstrator vehicle for potential customers in China. Jowett has assumed the role of the electric automaker's Chinese importer, and Detroit Electric also hopes to name a distributor for Japan in the very near future. While many of us who have been watching the company's mercurial comeback will continue to do so with measured hopefulness, Detroit Electric chairman and CEO Albert Lamp is a bit more optimistic. We are extremely proud to team up with Chowit Motors, a company that has an exceptional track record in the establishment and selling of exclusive, high-performance sports cars in the Chinese market, he said. He said, Detroit Electric has ridden a rocky road since the brand was revived in 2008. Things went quiet for a while after 2009, until Detroit Electric resurfaced in 2013 with the Lotus-based F called the SP-01. Since then, production has been delayed, and delayed again, then moved to Holland before proof of its progress arrived in the form of photos of the SP-01 undergoing testing in 2014. Finally, late last year saw the first production car roll off the line in England of all places. Now, in spite of significant, yet not unreasonable, skepticism, Detroit Electric has delivered its first SP cola.